Okay, it is Friday morning and we are waiting for the bus to get here. You ready to go to school, buddy? Yeah. And uh, got Lena here this morning. Uh, her dad's gonna be picking her up here real soon. Uh, my, well, he's not my landlord, but he works for my landlord. He's like the maintenance guy and he's my neighbor and my friend. And we, uh, we got this project we're gonna do down here in the bathroom closet. He's gonna put a outlet in for me and then I'm gonna put this rope, like, you'll, you'll see, I'm gonna show you. I'm still struggling with the fact that I don't have my laptop. I uh, I think I'm gonna hold off on buying one. I'm gonna just do Uber and buy one outright instead of going on credit for one. Uh, so probably gonna be a little late on a few videos. I might be missing a few days in the week when I can't get to Casey's laptop when I need to. So I hope you guys can understand this little slow time. Plus the holidays are happening. I'm still gonna do a lot of footage, edit videos, get them put on to YouTube, I just thought they're not going to go live. So you, you're probably going to get hit with a lot of videos all at once. So be prepared for that. He's <laughs> trying to get out of the bus. Oh, it's going to get out of the bus? Huh? Okay. Speaking of buses, I don't know where that bus is today. Where is it? It's taking forever. It's I got coming. stuff to do. It's coming. Yeah, exactly. It should have been here. I'll tell you why. It should have been here 10 minutes ago so I could get finished on stuff I need to get finished before I got to go to the to Lowe's. Standing here waiting for the bus is yeah. a waste of time. Where is it? I, exactly. Where is it? Where is it? I wish I knew, buddy. Where is it? Some days it shows up quickly, but most days it's late. They say the bus is supposed to be here eleven thirty-five. Be be ready by eleven twenty-five, and sometimes the bus doesn't show up till almost noon. Where is it? Exactly. Where is it? We're waiting the bus to come. Huh? We're waiting the bus to come. We're waiting for the bus to come. This is coming in the bus. Yep. Too. You watching it, Dad? Watching for the bus. Yep. Oh, no, no. No, no, no. Nope. Where is this bus? Where is the bus? Yeah, it's annoying. Well, it's annoying. It's so annoying. Where is this bus? Where is it? Finally. It's... Like almost noon. <laughs> By the time you factor in. This way. <laughs> we're we're lows getting what we need. So what do we got? We got blue box, those, those. panels, yep. switches, we got plugs at the house. Yep. Is that all? That's it. Alright, I think we got what we need for the closet light, right? And we started looking around for some stuff for the barn door project, but uh, struck out here at Lowe's. So hopefully uh, we'll find what, uh, hopefully we'll find it elsewhere. I think we're going to stop one more place as I spin the camera all around and make people sick. I think we're going to stop at one more place on the way. <laughs> okay, we're going to try Strasser's True Value. Let's see if we can't find a barn door tracks. The Basically, the ones they have at Lowe's are about 160 bucks, but they're made, they're rated for real heavy doors. And this door that I've got weighs maybe 10 pounds, so let's see what we can find. Okay, so we're getting some two by fours. We've got a closet, like a rolling closet door situation. 
we're gonna put there, attach it, and make for the barn door, because we're only talking about $24 versus $160. We went to a, uh, a PGA court. I mean, a real nice golf door. Right. Even had a Rolex clock up on the thing. <laughs> and uh, pull in there. And, and, and Vince's dad is like, man, this is a nice club. Nice. And he goes, yeah. I go, hey, look, there's ballet. <laughs> Brilliant. Vinny was like, no, 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 no. Park over here by the cart barn. <laughs> like one of the workers. <laughs> <laughs> it's valet the <laughs> valet the old no, 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 junker. Right okay, we're doing it here. This is the bathroom closet here, and uh, it's a really good sized closet, but there's no light in it. And when you get in there, it's you you block the light when you're trying to get stuff out of there anyway. So looking for medicine and stuff in there, not conducive to what I need. So Dell is putting a electrical box right there with a switch and a plug so i can plug in like my trimmers that are battery they have to charge up in case he doesn't like them on the bathroom counter and so uh it's going to go in there that they can stay charged there'll be a switch for the flip and then around the inside of that door frame i'm going to put the rope light inside there so you won't actually see them but when you reach in there and flip on the light bam you'll have light throughout each shelf so excited about that. All right. <laughs> the new neighbor kids are over here playing because I have a nice flat driveway, right? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, my kids are still in school for another probably hour and a half. And uh, Dell and I are getting this. Well, Dell's getting most of it done. I'm just looking for extra toys for the kids. <laughs> okay. All right. Let me show you this. So here, I'll turn this off. This is your closet, your bathroom closet with a switch right there. Huh? It's not even, oh yeah it is. Right, on the bottom edge. And then two inch, and we'll cut them now, that way we can go in. All right, uh, wood going there. And then the other one's gonna go underneath it, this way. Hey, no, big buddy. There's uh, there's kids here to play with in the neighborhood now. Isn't that cool? Getting off the bus with kids here. Yeah. <laughs> go play. Daddy and Dell are working on a project inside. You go play, okay? You ride your bike or drive your truck, play catch. What do you think? Come on, bring your backpack in so I can see if you got anything in it. Do you remember everybody's name? <laughs> Do it again, Bill. All right. <laughs> All right. Put that header on there. Not we really, Bill. But and then we're gonna box it in with the uh, with the barn wood. So it's gonna get boxed in like that. <laughs> All right, put it on. And then now demonstrate how it won't come off without going at an angle. Can't get it off. Yeah, you can't lift you it. Kick the bottom out. Right. You have to bring it out at an angle to do it. Clears the floor and ends up with space back there so we could still put a picture on the wall behind it with a thin enough frame so right. boxed it in looks good Dell that's a lot better than uh, 160 bucks $25 basically okay I forgot to turn on the camera while I was doing this just got really into it and didn't turn it on. This is a recipe that I saw on Facebook. Again, I always get some cool stuff on Facebook. This is for Casey only. I'm not a seafood guy, I'm not a veggie guy, but it's uh, like a California spicy shrimp stack. And I really wish I would have recorded while I was making it. But uh, you make it in a measuring cup, like a cup, measuring cup. And so you stack the cucumber in there and then avocado, 
uh, or I'm sorry, cucumber, then uh, green chives, like like uh, green onion, and then uh, avocado, and then uh, frozen shrimp, and then rice. And then I'm going to dress it with case gluten free. So I'm using some gluten free soy. That was a lot. Didn't realize it would come out that fast. It's okay though. And then this is mayo and sriracha that goes on top, that you spread over the top. If I can get this spread gently enough, evenly, without knocking the cucumber off. Some of it's falling off, but, you know, I do what I can. This is my first attempt at quote-unquote sushi. It's uh, it's not really sushi, it's cheap. It's cheat sushi, sushi. <laughs> but it's supposed to be kind of a skinny um, recipe. So, yeah. All right, well, we'll see how it turns out. It's got that, and then sprinkle some black sesame seeds over the top, and some white sesame seeds for prettiness. And you're supposed to really cover it, so. So hopefully, Casey likes this. This is what she's having for dinner when she comes home tonight. All right, all right. Not bad. All right, those are gonna go in the fridge and chill for about another, I think she's about 10 or 15 minutes away. So I'm gonna get those in the fridge and then clean up a little bit. I got a lot of cleanup I didn't get done because of working on projects. Okay. Casey finished with her final phone call for the day, by the way. And this clock's fast, but it is, uh, it's probably like 9.05, that clock's about 10 minutes fast. That's, that's how late Casey works. Uh, honestly, most days she's putting in 12 hours. So, she's killing it. <laughs> and that was her working with another client and uh, working on it, but, Hopefully she's going to enjoy what I made for her today. Yeah, I can taste it. <laughs> I, if she can taste it, she's had a bit of a cold. Her sinuses are clogging her up. Oh, no. But hopefully there's enough flavor in this to for her to taste. It's pretty good. It's yucky. Mm -hmm. well, that's good. Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's really good. You want to try it? No. Why? Yummy, it's delicious. I do want to eat it, Daddy. Mmm. I do want to eat it, Daddy. Well, then eat your fruit snacks. You already had your dinner. Avocado, rice, soy, a little sesame, and shrimp. It's delicious. A little spice, too. It's like something spicy. I like it. 